talking about the fact that, you know, it's an actual 35 millimeter print that we were watching, which is a rare enough thing these days, but all of the sort of loving close-ups in the film on film running through projectors, reel-to-reel -reel tape running through machine, uh, the hisses and pops on the soundtrack. Was that something that, that you had in mind, be beyond the fact that it's of the period, per se? Well, I just didn't think a hard drive would look so good in close-up. It was just, um, I don't know, um, it's weird when you look at it, because all that machinery in that room, you could easily put it onto a laptop. Um, it's just so strange, that line. Um, but I, maybe someone could, but I personally couldn't make this film set now, with plugins and Pro Tools and all that, as much as we used for post-production. But, um, I, I don't know, I, I do have this thing for those machines. I don't know, I don't know what it is, it's still quite, still quite childish, but um, I watched a few of these documentaries in the BBC Way for that workshop in Bayo Studio, which, is in, which was in Milan. And just these zoom ins and oscillators and so on, and I just find they have this kind of alchemical quality. And it's the idea of music, music concrete, just taking everyday normal sounds um, and transforming them into something, taking the ordinary and making it extraordinary <laughs> through these machines. And I, I guess analog, um, it was just very performative, the idea of cutting tape and making tape loops. Um, it's a very hands-on medium. Yeah. But I mean, I, I wouldn't say I'm an analog purist. Um, I think when we work, we, we use what we can, so with this channel we use digital, we used film, we used analog, we used Pro Tools and so on. Um, some of the machines in the film, we actually used those to create the sounds, other times we didn't. So I think, mean, personally, uh, there are pros and cons to both. Um, what I don't like at the moment is the way the industry is being forced into using DCPs. And I think it should, should be the choice of each cinema, not some kind of dictate from the industry. So I, I, I don't like the way everyone is being forced to digital, I think it should happen quite naturally. And it's quite shocking how quickly it's happening as well. And, um, even when we made this film, we shot some sequences on 16mm, mm. and um, suddenly they stopped printing it in London. We had to go to Amsterdam. And, um, so what could have been a fairly quick process, it took about three months, because we had to refilm and refilm and refilm. Um, but at the same time, you know, when you go to film labs and you see all those carcinogenic chemicals going down the drain from developing the film, you think, well, it's not so good to make, you know, the environment. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, just, just pros and cons to both. Um, but I, I kind of miss, I don't know what it is, like, I'm, I think digital sometimes it makes me a bit lazy, because you know you can just reshoot and reshoot, and then you pay the price when you get to the edit room. Yeah. 